In this video, we're going to look at the method of long division. Many pupils are just confused by this method. It's not a very intuitive method, but it's taught and your child might bring it home for homework. So here we go. We're going to start off fairly simple. We're going to start off by dividing three digit numbers by a one digit number. And the first one is 145 divided by five. When we set these out, it's similar to the short division. We have the bus stop method, where the number you're dividing goes into the main bit, and the number you're dividing by goes outside. It starts off very similarly to short division. We deal one digit at a time with the number we're dividing, and we say, how many times does five go into one? It doesn't, so we put a zero above it. Because we haven't used that one, we join it with the four, and we say, how many times does five go into 14? Well, two lots of five is 10. Now what we have to do that's different from short division is say, what's two times five? Two times five is 10, and we put it beneath the 14, and we'd subtract it. So 14, take away 10, leaves us with four. Now we bring down the next digit we need to deal with, which is five. We have 45 and we say, how many times does five go into 45? Well, it goes in nine times. So we put the nine at the top and then we say, what's nine times five? Well, that's 45 and we take that away and we're left with zero. If the number you're dividing will divide exactly by the number you're dividing by, you will always end up with zero. There will be some later on with remainders. Your answer to 145 divided by 5 is at the top, and it's 29. These are quite tricky to get the hang of. Have a go at this one. If you're not sure, watch that first bit again, but we will try some more after this. Have a go and see how you get on. 198 divided by 6. How many times does 6 go into 1? It doesn't, so we put a zero there. Now we join the one with the next digit to make 19. How many times does six go into 19? Well, it'll go in three times. What's three times six? Well, three times six is actually 18. So we're going to take that 18 away from the 19 to leave one. Now we bring down the next digit, which is eight. And now we have 18. How many times does six go into 18? It goes in three times, and three times six is 18, and if we take that away, we're now left with zero. 198 divided by six is 33. We're going to try some four digit numbers here, but we're still dividing by one digit. Because we have an extra digit here, this might help you get the hang of it if you're still struggling to get this method. Exactly the same layout. 1,673 divided by 7. How many times does 7 go into 1? It doesn't. We'll put a 0 there. How many times does 7 go into 16? Well, it goes in twice. And two sevens are 14, so we're going to take that 14 away from the 16, leaving two. Now we bring down the next digit, which is seven. How many times does seven go into 27? Well, three times seven is 21. So we put the three up there and we say three times seven is 21. We're going to take that 21 away from the 27 which is six. Now we bring down our next digit, which is three. How many times does seven go into 63? Well, it'll go in exactly nine times. To finish off, nine times seven is 63, and we take that away, and we're left with zero. So our answer, 1,673 divided by seven, is 239. I hope it's starting to make a bit more sense. Have a go at this one, see how you get on. 2,574 divided by nine. 
9 won't go into 2, so we're going to put a 0 there. 9 into 25, or well, 2 9s are 18, so we're going to say 2 times 9, 18. Take that 18 away from the 25. That gives us 7. Now we bring down the next digit, 7. How many times does 9 go into 77? If you know your 9 times table, you'll know that there are 8 times 9 in 72. So 8 times 9 is 72. We take that away from the 77, and that leaves us with 5. Now we bring down our last digit, which is 54. Again, knowing your 9 times table is good here. How many times does 9 go into 54? It goes in exactly 6 times. And to finish off, 6 times 9 is 54. Take that away, and we're left with 0. So once again, we have a number with no remainders. 2,574 divided by 9 is 286. During Year 6, children will be encountering four-digit numbers divided by two-digit numbers. It's exactly the same concept. 1,980 divided by 15. 15 into 1 won't go. 15 into 19. That'll go once. And 1 times 15 is 15. So we take that away from the 19, and that leaves us with 4. Now we bring down the next digit, which is 8. 15 into 48 will go 3 times, because 3 times 15 is 45. Take that away from the 48, and that leaves us with 3. Now we bring down our last digit, which is a 0. Now we have 30. How many times does 15 go into 30? It goes in twice, exactly. And then just to finish off, 2 times 15 is 30. Take that away, and we're left with 0. And the answer is 132. Here's one for you to try. 1,512 divided by 12. Pause the video, have a go. 1,512 divided by 12. How many times does 12 go into 1? It doesn't, so we're going to put a 0 there. How many times does 12 go into 15? It'll go in once. 1 times 12 is 12. Take it away from the 15. That leaves you with 3. Bring down the next digit. We now have how many 12s? in 31. Well, two lots of 12 was 24, so we're going to put the 24 in there, take that away from the 31, leaves us with 7. Bring down the last digit, which is 2. How many times does 12 go into 72? Well, it goes in 6 times. And just to finish off, 6 times 12 is 72, take that away, and we have 0. And the answer is 126. To finish off, we're just going to do a couple where there will be remainders. 1,919 divided by 14. 14 into 1 doesn't go. 14 into 19 goes once. One lot of 14. Take that away from the 19. Leaves you with 5. Bring down that 1. How many lots of 14 in 51? Well, that's 3, and 3 times 14 is 42. So we're going to take that 42 away from the 51, leaving you with 9. Now we bring down that last digit, which is a 9. How many times will 14 go into 99? 14 will go into 98 7 times. 7 times 14 is 98. Take that 98 away from the 99, and we have 1. So the whole number we have for 1,919 divided by 14 is 137. But we have that 1 left over, so we have remainder 1. This one's for you to try. 
3539 divided by 16. Pause the video, have a go. Three thousand five hundred and thirty nine divided by sixteen. Sixteen won't go into three, that's a zero. Sixteen into thirty five, two times sixteen is thirty two. So two times sixteen, take away the thirty two from the thirty five, leaves you with three. Bring down that three. How many sixteens in thirty three? Well, two lots of sixteen is thirty two. 2 times 16, take that 32 away from the 33, leaves you with 1. Now we're going to bring down that 9. How many 16s in 19? Well, 16 will go into 19 once. 1 times 16, take that away from the 19, and you have 3 left over. Your whole number is 221, but you have 3 left over at the bottom there, so it's going to be 221 remainder 3.